Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be doing demos of the new reformulated foundations. So if you don't know, Dior recently just reformulated two of some of their most popular foundations, the Forever and the Forever Skin Glow foundations. I have some, the older versions, so we're going to do side-by-side -side comparisons. And I bought both of the newer versions. So we're gonna see what one is better, what is not. But they were reformulated to now become clean. So the ingredients are supposed to be clean. Meaning, according to the website, they are strict in the selection of ingredients. Personally, clean makeup, not clean makeup, I don't care. I'm not buying this because it's clean. I'm buying it to see if it's improved or different from the different formulation. So I did order these off of the DUR website. I always recommend, if you can, to order from the DUR website. It's a little tough with foundations because I hate the return policy of Dior, but luxury experience right here. If you want the true luxury experience, Experience, you gotta order directly from the Dior website, including supremely fast shipping. So let me show you the samples that I got. If you don't know, I low-key collect mini Dior samples because I think they're so cute. I didn't have this one, the Sauvage. I feel like I won't like the smell of it. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's manly. Not a big fan of it, but it's a cute new bottle that I didn't have. So let me put that over here. What else did I get? I got a cute little Miss Dior fragrance, but it's not the cute bottle. Anyways, look, see, you even get this really nice bag. I've said it before, I'll say it again. If you order something from Dior, you get it from the Dior website. It's just the best experience, but we have the two foundations. Now, this is going to be a two-day review. The first day that I'm filming today is New Year's Eve, so I definitely want to go with the matte foundation today, and then we'll do the skin glow tomorrow. So we're just talking about the plain Dior Forever foundation. It's supposed to be a clean matte foundation, 24-hour wear. Please don't wear it for 24 hours, though. Transfer-proof and concentrated floral skincare. Let's take a look at the box here. So it's going to come like this then if you need to see the ingredients on the back or anything they are right here this does contain SPF 15 and it says it's concentrated floral skincare with sunscreen this has a 12 month shelf life made in France it's one fluid ounce which is the standard for foundations. I picked mine up in the shade 2.5N and this is what the bottle looks like. I love this frosted glass and it is glass, so it's quite heavy. Now, I actually do not have the most recent version they have of this. This in the last few years has been reformulated twice. So the last time they came out with the reformulation, I didn't pick it up because honestly, I was so happy with the formulation before that. There's one formula in between these two foundations, but they're more or less the same, just different formulations. So today I'm just going to be comparing it to this one right here, if you have this one. I don't want to compare them too much since there's a formulation in between, but but I will say the older version has SPF 35, but they have the same claims. So let's zoom into my face. So on the left side of my face, I'm going to use the old Forever Foundation that I have since I have acne on this side. So I really want to test what the new foundation can do with this. I swear it looks worse than it actually is. I don't know why it looks so bad on camera. Anyways gonna start off with one pump and I'm just going to put this on my cheek, the side of my nose, and the forehead. So one pump for one side of my face. I'm going to go ahead and use the pointy side for the older foundation uh, with my Shop Misse sponge. So here is with one coat and by the way for base i just am using my suasu moisturizer i don't have an actual base underneath you can see it gives a pretty natural coverage with just one pump let me do a half a pump more and i just want to get the areas that have more redness and need a little bit more coverage which for me mostly is going to be my cheek area. So what I love about this foundation, the old formulation, is the longevity of it. I feel like it looks so good at the end of the day. I don't look too oily. The way that it wears, it's perfection. It's one of my go-to special event foundations. And when they reformulated that last time, I was really sad because I was like, it's not broke, don't fix it. But let's see this new foundation. Since this one's getting old, I did have to pick up the new one. Okay, so this is 
is just one and a half pumps of the older version. Let's get into the new version. I do think that this just looks really snazzy, much better than that old foundation. Top was kind of hard to get off, okay? One and a half pumps. Let me see, does it look any different from the old one? So here's the old one. They look pretty much the same consistency, really. Maybe this one is slightly more liquidy. This is the newer one, but they look the same, though you don't want to judge just by this, but I'm just saying. Okay, friends, we got a lot to cover, so let's see how we do. So 2.5N is pretty much the perfect shade for me. I did order just two in the Skin Glow. I think they like ran out of my shade or something like that, so I had to settle for two, but I think two is a really good winter shade for me anyways. Okay, so we have that on. I'm gonna use the butt end of my sponge. Let's blend it out. You can see this did a really good job with coverage. Looks very, very pretty. I'm gonna do, even though I did a pump and a half, I do want to just do a little bit more just because this side of my face, quite frankly, just has more to cover than this side. So I'm gonna compensate for that. All right, guys, old side versus new side. This side looks a little bit dewier, but I think that's just because it's more freshly applied. I've got to say the new formulation looks a little better to me. The older formulation looks a touch dry on my skin, whereas the newer formulation looks a little bit more hydrated. So that's good. I'm happy about that. But the main perk of this foundation for me is the wear time. So the wear test is going to be super important for this video. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup and I will show you how each side looks. Okay guys, makeup is done. We went more dramatic since it is New Year's. Uh, I will have everything that I'm wearing in the description box below. Both foundations look great on my skin as I expected. It looks extra glowy because I went a little extra with highlight today considering the occasion. So one side to the other, I will say the new formulation I think looks a wee bit more hydrating whereas the old formulation looks a wee bit more dry. I don't mind the dryness of that old formulation because I find as the day goes on and my natural oils come through it looks fine but upon initial application I do notice an extra bit of hydration which I think is a great thing especially for my dry skin but again wear time is what matters but here is final look with foundation I'm going to live my life and I will update you on which one is better but based on how everything looks at least this new formulation if you've never tried it it looks Stunning on the skin. It gives a medium to full coverage with not a complete matte finish. I would say it's like a natural matte finish. Absolutely gorgeous. So I just wanted to do a quick update. I've been wearing both foundations for about four hours now. I told you I love this foundation. My skin looks fantastic. I wouldn't say one side looks better than the other now that my oils have come through. The older foundation side is looking better. So I would say they look equal. Yeah, I mean, this is good though. This is good people because they were out of the old formula. They don't sell this anymore. So, so far I'm happy to see that the new formulation is keeping up and that we didn't miss something that wasn't broken. Close up if you need. Guys, I love my New Year's Eve makeup. It is so cute. Anyways, this smile line is a little bit deeper, but it's just because literally this smile line is deeper than my right smile line. So this one always shows first. No, my skin looks fabulous. <laughs> okay, Morgan. <gasps> you guys, I just had the best K-pop meal. It's Korean hot pot and Korean barbecue, both in one sitting. My pants, you can't see, but they're unzipped <laughs> all the way. But it's around 10 o'clock, so I wanted to give you my final wear test for the two foundations. And honestly, I just cannot get over how amazing this particular foundation is from Dior, old and new. Just so you know, like we were having hot, hot soup, spicy sauces, you know, uh, my nose running, I had soup running down my face. I was constantly dabbing around my mouth and this area looks so good. Any other foundation leaves this area looking disgusting, <laughs> but having worn this makeup for like eight hours, 
no powder touch-ups or anything. This is why I love this foundation so much. So between the two sides, there really is not much of a difference, which honestly is a good thing because I loved the old, old formulation so much. The new formulation is just as good. If I were to be extra picky, my face is up close to a mirror. I'm in front of a whole studio light. Maybe the new side is like the littlest, tiniest, it'll bitlest more oily. I would attribute that probably to it being more clean ingredients because I find clean foundations don't normally last as long. So I think that's the only difference that I see, but I do think also because the side, the clean side is maybe a little bit more hydrating than the old, old formula, that it looks smoother. So it's a give and take situation. Nonetheless, I mean, I don't prefer one formula over the other. I think they're both equally as good. And considering you can only get this forever foundation, I think you will be happy with this if you like the formulation of the matte foundation. If you have really severely dry skin, maybe the matte is not for you. But this is not a foundation that I find to be too matte for me. I do have more normal to dry skin, but it is leaning more dry currently being that it is winter. I think this foundation just wears beautifully even on my dry skin. So I'm loving this one. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if tomorrow with the Skin Glow review, I'm gonna be as enthused. This is really the foundation I was looking most forward to testing. I will see you guys tomorrow for the Skin Glow comparison. All right, guys, welcome to day two of foundation. Today, we are moving on to the Dior Forever Skin Glow. And luckily, I do have the most recent formula from Dior for the Skin Glow. So this was the last one that was launched. Now, I did see these new foundations, the reformulated ones, are now available on Sephora. So I will have those linked down below. It says online that they will be available in stores on the 14th of January if you want to get color tested but I actually wore this yesterday so it's been a day in between since I filmed a forever matte so I'm excited because this is beautiful so let's get into it <laughs> so let me show you the packaging of the old skin glow you have the writing along the side and then the new one has the writing in the front so I had to pick up the skin glow in 2n and honestly this is my perfect winter color I just prefer the undertone of 2.5 n but this is great for me for this winter season but I do have the older skin glow in 2.5 n so it's just gonna be slightly deeper so just prepare yourself for that one of the major differences and this is the same with the matte formulation the old skin glow has 35 spf whereas the new one has 15 spf it certainly was a drop in spf but of course we're putting our sunscreen underneath anyways so you should be fine forever skin glow is the same price as the matte 52 dollars you get a fluid ounce of product, 12 month shelf life, made in France. Same dealio, but the packaging on these are definitely more similar, I would say. So let's get to testing. Online, it says that this, again, it's clean, up to 24 hours of wear, don't give that a try, please. Visibly radiant, medium to full coverage and hydration. So the finish is radiant, the coverage is medium. I agree with both statements. So let's put on the older one first. Again, this one's gonna be a little bit deeper. I'm going to use, I just cleaned this, my Shop Miss A sponge, and we're going to use the butt end. And I just did one pump. So you can see 2.5N. I love this shade, but it is more of a summer shade for me. So it's not my perfect match right now, but it does blend out to be just fine. I just added another half pump. So my thoughts on this foundation, the older formulation, is I like it. I don't love this foundation. It does give a glowier look, but I've always preferred the Forever Matte over this one, but it does give a pretty glow to the skin. Mostly what I don't like about this one is how it wears. I feel like I look just not as good at the end of the day. But here's with one and a half pumps of the old formulation. Let's do the new formulation over here. So we have a pump. I'm gonna use the top end of my sponge now. Let's start it off. So this is a better color for me right now. It really is. I was worried it would be a bit light, but it's actually perfect. My sponge is soaking up a lot of the product. So we're gonna do a couple extra pumps than we did yesterday, but I really am not in the mood to get my fingers dirty. Just having one of those moods where I don't wanna put my finger on my face. <laughs> so we'll pop this down the middle. Wow, you can see the difference in color. 
<laughs> it'll be fine once we get the concealer and stuff on. So this foundation is definitely less coverage than the matte, I would say, but you can see it leaves a dewy finish to the skin. So let me compare the old versus the new, getting my mirror a little closer. I honestly think the new formulation is a little bit more glowy than the older formulation. I would say they do have the same amount of coverage. This one is definitely more medium. I don't really see it building up into a true full coverage. But if you like nice, lightweight feeling, glowy foundations, I do think that this one is very, very beautiful. You know, because it is glowy, you can kind of see a little bit more texture in these areas. But once we get everything set, everything's going to look good. I'm going to add a little extra love. I said I didn't want to get my fingers dirty, but we gotta, we gotta do something about my acne right here. So let me pat this in and see how the coverage is. Then let's try the older formulation. I just want to get it on this right here and a little bit more on my cheek. You know, this finish upon initial application is stunning on both sides. Okay, I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup. So mostly what I'm doing, I'm using my Dior Forever Skin Correct, and then I'm gonna set with a little bit of Makeup Forever. I will have all of the makeup details down below. But here is what each side is looking like initially. I would say they look pretty much identical. I can't tell a difference between either formulation. So I did actually quickly want to show you what the foundation looked like after I set it. I have nothing else on except I put the concealer on and I have the Makeup Forever setting powder over top so you can see that it definitely reduced all of the shine but I do expect the shine to come through as the day goes on but just so you can see what that initial layer of powder did it took away the glow. Okay guys so here is how the foundation is looking now that everything is fully set. Now I did fully powder my face. I have that Makeup Forever powder. I have a powder bronzer and powder blush on and you can see that the glow went away and I did that purposefully because yesterday when I wore the Skin Glow foundation I did a very light set to where most of the glowiness was still showing and I noticed that wear time wasn't amazing. It was fine but for a glowy foundation you know it wasn't wearing like a matte foundation so I put on a little bit more powder today to see how long it takes for my oil to peek through and for that glow to come back and to see if it affects wear time but from one side to the other both sides if you ask me are looking pretty darn identical I can't really tell a difference at all with the exception of the shade of course they both look good but it definitely lost the glow with powder so I am going to a Update you in a few hours. It's currently 2.30. Alright guys, I don't have all my lights on right now, but I thought I would do the final check-in. So let's get a little bit closer. I didn't do too much today, so the foundation didn't get tested in a crazy environment or anything, but I've been wearing this for like nine hours, so it's been a long time. And I'm definitely more oily than I was with just the plain Forever Matte Foundation, but it looks really good. It looks really healthy. The reason why I didn't update you halfway through the day is because I was kind of just sitting around, so not much had changed. But now you can definitely see the oils peeking through. This is a Skin Glow Foundation. It definitely looks more glowy than the matte foundation. In terms of the old formulation versus the new formulation, they're pretty much identical. If I look really close, I do think the older formulation held up just a wee bit better. I noticed a little bit more oil collected in the newer formulation, so I would say that the older Skin Glow maybe performs just a little bit better, but I don't think enough to make you sad about them reformulating, honestly. I'm not as big of a fan of the Skin Glow as I am as the matte foundation. I think both are great. If you have severely dry skin or you just like a glowier complexion, you will like the Skin Glow. But overall for me, I'm all about that new Forever Matte formulation. And that's the one that I recommend. Actually, let me zoom out a little bit. <laughs> like I was saying, I'm personally all about the brand new formulation of the Forever Matte. I think this is an improvement on at least the formulation that I had. It's beautiful. It's great for events, but it is a little bit more matte. So if you don't like a matte foundation, 
lotion. You might not like this, especially if you're severely dry, which in that case, I would recommend the Skin Glow. The Skin Glow is also beautiful. Dior just does a phenomenal job with bases anyways. You can see how good my base looks now. But for me, the Forever Foundation Balm, still gonna end up being one of my favorite event foundations. Skin Glow is going to be more of an everyday foundation for me, not worried about it lasting through an important event or anything, just something to give me a glowy complexion, but you can definitely see I look glowy. But overall, I don't think either formulation has strayed too far from the old formulation, which is great. I hate when a product is reformulated and it just doesn't behave the same <laughs> and it acts worse. I truly think both of the reformulations perform pretty much the same, maybe subtle differences, but not to the point where I think you will notice too much. But if we're just doing this in terms of a foundation review, both of these are so good. It just depends what you want. Team forever. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed these couple days of testing out these new foundations. I'm very pleased. I was reminded about how much I love these foundations and I've enjoyed how my base has looked. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. If you aren't subscribed to me already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys. Have a good one.